Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. This is Sheikh Mohammed Awo, founder and director of Zaytun Dawa Institute in Seattle, Washington, United States of America. Today we in the month of Ramadan, the month of mercy, the month that Allah has sent down the Quran. The Quran is a miracle indeed. Each and every messenger and prophet was given a miracle. And the ultimate miracle of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the Quran. The Quran is a catalyst within which each and everything is being explained. Allah said, Wa kulli shayin fassalna ku tafsila. In this Quran we've explained everything. Whatever the mankind needs to know to sojourn on this earth into your Qiyamah, Allah said it has been explained. So men of knowledge today are proving that. So Allah said, وَيَرَى الَّذِينَ أُوتُوا لِئِلِمْ أَلَّذِي أُنزِلَ إِلَيْكَ مِنْ رَبِّكَ هُوَ الْحَقِّ وَيَحَدِي إِلَى سُرَى عَزِي الْحَمِيدِ those who have the knowledge will eventually come to understand that whatever we've given you, O Muhammad, is from Allah and that you are on the right track. So that means Islam is a religion that eventually all mankind will do eventually. And we glorify Allah, we thank Him for the fact that we are in the month of Ramadan. This is the month that we have to exert more energy worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Today, I'm going to present to you one of the beautiful signs that the Quran have mentioned. It talks about the speed on the relative distance, the, you know, the, 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 the speed of relativity. Uh, which is uh, physicists are struggling to understand the operation of the speed of light and all this kind of stuff. But the Quran mentioned in Quran 74 verse 3, Allah said, تَحَرُجُ الْمَلَائِكَةُ وَرُوهُ إِلَيْهِ فِي يَوْمِ كَانَ مِنْ دَارُهُ خَمْسِينَ أَلْفَ The angels traverse to Allah in a day. And that is the equivalent of 50,000 years, which you man can't do. That means the angels are so fast. Whatever they do in 24 hours is what we do in 50,000 years. So how do you understand the speed of the angels? It's simple. Mathematics, chemistry, physics. What Allah wants us to see is do the Quran because Allah said, Afa la the Quran. Don't you analyze the Quranic word? Don't you look at it carefully and understand how or what I mean, how it operates? So to understand the speed of the angels is this. Now, since Allah mentioned a day for us and he mentioned, I mean a day for the angels, and he mentioned 50,000 years equivalent to what we do in a year, the basic way to understand is that we have to convert the day into a year because he mentioned 50,000 years, but this one is you know 24 hours. So you multiply 24 hours times times uh, 30 times 30. Whatever number you have, you multiply it again with 365, which is you know a day in a year. So one, whatever you get the number, then you multiply it by 50,000 years. That is the equivalent of the distance that the angels travel in a second. And that is 5.3 trillion times. Whatever we do, that is the speed of an angel in a minute. 5.3 trillion years. And to know the speed which the angels take from here to United States, which is like 10,000 miles, you have to multiply whatever number you have when you multiply, you know, um, uh, 365 times 50,000 years, you multiply that same number again with 30, with, with, with like, you know, 10,000, whatever number you have, it's like 526,000 times the angels travel from Africa to United States. 526,000 times in a second. That means the angel go from Africa to United States 526,000 times in a second. How fast is it? How fast is that? That is man boggling. That is man shuttling. That is something that we can't even quantify. But that is the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is one of the ultimate miracles that physicist Albert Einstein, in his last you know, summation, Summa Mathematica, he gave us the relativity of time. Time dilation, and in that the quantification is so very close to what the Quran have said. Muhammad does not have any calculus; he doesn't have any computer; he doesn't have any you know mechanism to measure, engage, and then calculate the numbers. But yet, whatever he gave is is what is close to what Tychron. The Tychron are the closest distance that we can measure on the face of the earth. Yet the Quran is very close to that. Who told Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam? Definitely it is Allah who gave him this uh, understanding. Hazabillahi Tawfiq. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.